Hey everyone, Lordstown Motors has been having a really tough time with things these last few months, especially after short seller Hindenburg Research published a report making some pretty serious claims. One of them was that their electric truck was nowhere near production ready and hadn't gone through basically any product validation testing. So, as if in an effort to prove Hindenburg Research wrong, Lordstown was set to compete in a grueling off-road race called the Baja 250. The Baja 250, which is actually 280 miles, is a brutal race through sand, water, rocks, and heavy vehicle abuse in Mexico. And while it might not be a technical product validation test, it is a serious one. So, Lordstown entered a variant of their endurance truck with its unique hub motor design, and let me tell you, it didn't go well at all, which isn't a good look for a company that's claiming to be production ready in the next six months. So we're going to talk about it, but before we do, if you appreciate my content and you want to get yourself some free stock, check out Webull. Webull, the stock trading app, is currently offering two free stocks for opening an account and making a $100 deposit if you're in the US. If you're interested, click the link in the description for more information. All right, so let's look at how this modified endurance truck did in the race and what exactly that means for Lordstown themselves. The truck completed about 16% of the race, which was 40 miles before they had to throw in the towel. We don't know exactly what went wrong as Lordstown didn't share the issue with the public, but using a GPS tracker that was on the truck, we can see that around the 40 mile mark, they stopped, then turned off the race course and drove towards the highway to get a charge. 40 miles isn't nothing, but it's barely enough to get you a participation trophy. And to be clear, it's pretty common for vehicles to not be able to finish the Baja races. In this particular race, 83 out of the 270 participants didn't finish, which means around 70% of the participants did finish the race. But Lordstown had more than just a race hanging over their heads. In the Hindenburg report, they alleged, quote, former employees also shared that the company has completed none of its needed testing or validation, including cold weather testing, durability testing, and federal motor vehicle safety standards testing required by the NHTSA. That's a whole lot of boxes to check before September, which is when they're claiming they'll be producing their first vehicles. Hindenburg also alleges that despite claims that Lordstown will be producing vehicles by September, a former employee explained how the company is experiencing delays and making drastic design modifications, putting them an estimated three to four years away from production. For example, in mid-January, the company totally switched from a plastic exterior to aluminum, we were told. Now, I'm not saying that if they completed the race, that would prove that they're closer to being production ready. It really wouldn't. But I will say that dropping out of the race after only 40 miles does make Hindenburg's claims seem more credible. If they can't even build one prototype that's capable of going 280 miles, despite having loads of time to prepare for it and being able to customize it as they needed, it doesn't bode well for their ability to suddenly come out with a production ready truck in just a few short months. Lordstown's social media managers tried to put a positive spin on the whole event with this Facebook post. I'll read a little bit to you. It says, what a ride we had getting to the SCORE International San Felipe 250. The Endurance's hub motors, battery pack, and software performed very well today, and everything we did and experienced in Mexico has provided us with valuable insights into how the Endurance's technology performed and responded to the demanding and treacherous conditions. We are stopping here and taking our incredible learnings back to Lordstown. So look, I understand they have to at least try to put a positive spin on everything, but this is a tough one for sure. The majority of the race's participants completed it, and not only did Lordstown not finish, but they only made it a few miles from the starting line. It also seems the investing public isn't buying Lordstown's positive spin. Since the markets opened, they're down around 11%, which is at least in part due to the lackluster performance in the race over the weekend. The Hindenburg report last month made investors lose confidence, and this was an opportunity for Lordstown to prove that they were putting the pedal to the metal and getting things done. This failure doesn't mean they're doomed, but they're going to have to wipe the egg off their face before they keep going. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think of Lordstown and their disappointing performance in the Baja 250 in the comment section below. Huge thank you to my Patreon members. You guys are awesome. I honestly couldn't keep this up without your support. If you want to join the Badger team on Patreon, I'll leave a link below. All right, I'll see you on the next one.